Joining me now to discuss the host of the Kimberly Guilfoyle show on Rumble, Kimberly Guilfoyle host stuff. All right, Kim, I'm reading this stuff. You're, you're a lawyer. You know more about this process. Is, is the reason they're holding an indictment to try to run out the clock on 2016? Uh, let's be honest, probably. They play a lot of games like this, whether it's aging the case or holding it up to make sure that they can, in fact, still go after it. But I think when you see all of this, it's just a really difficult situation to witness, you know, as a former prosecutor, as an officer of the court, to see this miscarriage of justice, to see these radically aligned uh, Democrats and deep state people infecting the Department of Justice. This is just Team Biden and Merrick Garland trying to persecute a Donald Trump, trying to just let, you know, Hunter Biden go off scot-free. But when you look and drill down on the circumstances, the facts, these yeah. cases are all falling apart. And it's actually having the reverse effect because it's giving the president the momentum that he needs. You see him crushing it in all of the polls and all of the important swing states as well. And nobody stands a chance. So yeah. this is just more deep state consultants um, from the swamp uh, taking money for campaigns that are going to go nowhere. And President Trump, as you know, um, he's unbreakable. This is not going to stop him. And yeah. I I've been asked many times, well, do you think this will impact his decision to go in 2024? Uh, yeah, it's actually just going to make him go even harder and stronger. There is no indictment. There is no case. There is no uh, trial, anything that is going to stop him. When you look at the documents case, it's outrageous because there is no substantive facts to support this. It completely collapses. This is witch hunt political theater. Right. Because they cannot beat him in the ballot box. And they have weaponized the justice system in a shameful and disgraceful way, in a yeah. way that I've never seen in this country, to go after him. And he keeps fighting, because if it's not him, it's you, it's me, it's any of those hardworking Americans out there. Because, you know, the rules don't apply to the Democrats, to Joe Biden. You see the facts and the evidence and the corruption but and the bribes and the admissions and the ties with China. Yeah. That's what they should be focusing their energy on. Oh, not 100%. somebody who did actually handle the documents uh, in a proper manner, President Trump, and they're using this to try to bootstrap it uh, against him. Well, Kim, you know, and one of the big things is like, there's there's like 17 and a half million dollars that we know came in. There may there may probably will be more. We can't find a lot or, or people can't find the money as fast as they want to. But James Comer had a theory. Take a listen to this. With Joe, I suspect there are offshore accounts. The IRS whistleblowers confirmed when I asked if they had documents pertaining to foreign accounts, and they said they did. Wow. But they couldn't turn them over to us. They have to go through that process and turn it over to the Ways and Means Committee, and I requested they do that, and they said they would. Interesting, Kim. Yeah, well, the, you know, follow the money. That's what we always did as prosecutors. You track it down, you find it, but they are actually, you know, obfuscating this whole investigation and making it more difficult and challenging because they want to hide the paper trail so the truth doesn't come out about Joe Biden. Well, it won't come out about him until they decide that he is useless as a candidate, which TikTok may be happening pretty soon, and they'll decide to replace him. That's how this is all playing out. Mm -hmm. This is just, uh, you know, some kind of three-card Monty game. They don't care. They're going to just sit there and try and fool the American people. They want to do whatever they can to try to seal the 2024 um, election. And Donald Trump is the only thing standing between, you know, them and us, quite frankly. And that's why he's going to continue to fight for it. And you see that guy on the screen right there. He is uh, incompetent, decrepit, depraved individual. Okay? He shouldn't be trusted around children. His son is a complete embarrassment <laughs> and a joke. Uh, and, you know, this family is so corrupt that the things that they've done, yeah. the whole family, okay, should just go and right. be behind bars because they're but, all complicit in it. But get Trump because orange man bad. Kim Guilfoyle, I appreciate you taking the time. I know you're traveling, so we appreciate it. Thank you.